All right, Shalom, Shalom to the elect of Yasha'ala. This your brother Puwaria coming back at you from Great Millstone Des Moines with another quick lesson. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles at Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to all you Akims out there that's pushing his word in true sincerity and always in charity. And as you can see, the title is Beware of False Prophets. All right. Because in these last days, there are many false prophets out there, run, you know, coming out of nowhere and uh, being deceived and deceiving. All right. And the scripture says that the deceived and the deceiver is his. And so if you don't want to fall into that trap of being deceived anymore, you know what I'm saying? Because we was once deceived with Christianity and all uh, Islam, all these other religions that deceived us from the, us not knowing who we are, knowing our true heritage, you know what I'm saying? And all these things. So coming back into knowing who we are, we can't be deceived no more, man. Okay? But you got many false prophets, prophets out there that's trying to rock you back to sleep. Or rock you, uh, how you go back to Christianity, you know what I'm saying? And all these these wayward doctrines, man, is is gonna lead you to destruction if you follow after these these uh after these false doctrines. Because like it says that uh, in Matthew 15 and 4, the blind lead the blind; they both shall fall into a ditch. So if you fall in blindly after these these uh these false prophets that's out there. You 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 you're gonna fall into a ditch. You leading you're leading yourself into uh into destruction, man. All right. So hey, it, it will behoove you to pray to the Lord to guide you to to the right doctrine. You know what I'm saying? Those that are speaking the hundred percent truth. Okay. And now you know in this time you got new believers coming into this truth. So hey. A lot of things might sound, you know, sweet, but it's really sour. You know what I'm saying? It's really some shit. You know what I'm saying? And they put some sugar on shit to make it seem sweet. But, hey, it's, it's some shit, man. All right? And if you're simple, you'll fall into those, those ditches that, that set, or them stumbling blocks that is set before our people to fall. Okay? But, uh... Let's start off with First uh, John, and we're going to read 4 and verse 1. It says, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirit, whether they are of the most high power, Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. All right, so we got to hey, put these teachers to the test. Put their doctrines to the test. All right. And you're going to find out uh, that these doctrines out there, man, is is going off way the fuck off. OK. And, and the Lord, he warned us of these things, man. He warned us that these false prophets is out there, man, to deceive. And, and we hey, so hey, we cannot fall into the traps, man, once again. But hey, it's written that the elect, hey, it, the elect is not gonna fall into these traps. These the elect is not gonna be deceived. All right, let's get that in Matthews. So yeah, once again, man, we have to. Uh, that's why the scripture says, uh, "Study to show thyself approved." All right, we gotta be like the Church of Berea and go into these things and, and see if these things that are being said are they true. All right. And, and some of the main ones that is like the MOTB, all right, the mark of, uh, of, of, the, of the beast, all right. You have to know what that is, man. And you got a lot of false prophets out there just telling you whatever the hell it is, man. But we know that it's the RFID chip, man. All right. It ain't no barcode. It ain't sleeping with white women. And it's not all these things. It ain't Christianity. All these things that you were you were here. From these false prophets, man. So beware of them. All right. You got these false prophets saying that it uh, there is not going to be no Jacob's trouble. Beware of them. All right. 
I'm saying the, the true prophets is going to be telling you these things. They're going to be telling you that the name matters, that you must know his true name and call upon his true name. But once again, these false prophets out there telling you that the name don't matter. You could call them whatever you want to call them, man. All right. Here it is. You had that Deacon Asaph uh, from IUIC saying that the, uh, the name Jesus Christ will deceive many. But here it is. What they do, they call on the Most High Christ uh, bless. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so that should tell you right there, man, to, to, like the scripture says, mark those that cause division and avoid them. Avoid these false prophets that's out there just telling you whatever the hell they want. You know what I'm saying? For either filth the lucre say or they, or just for their own agenda. All right. Or because they took that bag. Or because they don't truly believe in these scriptures. So they trying to make a kingdom here within this wicked queen, uh, queendom. All right. A righteous kingdom and, and a wicked queendom cannot stand together, man. So this wicked queendom has to be burnt down so the Lord can establish a righteous kingdom on earth, man. And that's the times we living in where the Lord is about to come and visit this place. So, hey, we have to be in right standards with him, man. Our minds got to be right. You know what I'm saying? Get your mind right, man. And, 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 and the Lord is right now is building up the elect for the, for the times to come because he warned us that all these things was going to happen, man. World War III, you know what I'm saying? Jacob's trouble, you know what I'm saying? Them, um, um, trying to demonize us for speaking the truth. The Lord warned us of all these things. So we have to spiritually be prepared. You know what I'm saying? For these things, man. And pray that the Lord keep his Holy Spirit upon us to, to be able to go through the things that we must go through, man. Hey, you got to go through it to get to it. All right. It ain't easy, man. Hey, it ain't no walking apart. Yahweh Shai himself, man, he carried his cross until the end. We have to carry our cross until the end. Ain't no turning back. Ain't no stopping. Ain't no doubting. Ain't none of that, man. We got to keep our eyes on the prize and keep trusting in the Lord. Keep trusting in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And he's going to deliver us out of Jacob's trouble and all the things that this devil is going to come down with. All right. Because this devil is going to come down with great wrath to try to continue to rule in wickedness. Okay. So, hey, hey, we know these things, man. So we are prepared spiritually, you know what I'm saying, for these things to happen, man. We want these things to happen because we know that it must happen in order for us to get out this hellhole that we're living in, man. All right? So, hey, once again, man, having the true doctrine, having the true names, Yahweh, Wah, Yahweh, Shai, you know what I'm saying? And, and having the, 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 the true doctrine, man. Because there's a lot of wayward doctrines out there, man, that, that will have you bugged out, man. The hell doctrine, the, the, the virgin birth, and, uh, you know, you got people that don't believe in reincarnation. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, the list goes on, man. All right, we in the new covenant. Man, if we was in the new covenant, man, we would not be still here suffering, still here being vexed in this place. All right? And you got people, hey, if somebody's saying that Esau could be saved, man, that, hey, they're going off, man. All right. As a matter of fact, it tells you in um, Ezekiel. Uh, let's get that. Uh, Ezekiel 13. And... I'll start from the top, verse 1. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy against the prophets of Israel that prophesy, and say thou unto them that prophesy out of their own hearts, Hear ye the words of the Lord. Thus said the Lord power, Woe unto the foolish prophets that follow their own spirit and have seen nothing. 
All right. Um. Uh, so you got a lot of these prophets that's, that they, they just they sent their sales, man, to go out there to speak. You know what I'm saying? Whatever the hell they want to speak. All right. That wasn't the one I was. Uh, the one I was wanting. It it, it, it tells about uh prophesy against Mount Seir. All right. So you're supposed to be prophesying against Esau. Mount Seir is Esau. All right. You should be speaking against them. So when they say, oh, Esau can be saved, you know what I'm saying? And all those things, man, they are false prophets, man. These false prophets must be condemned. That's not speaking the words of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right. What is that? Uh, thirteen. Uh. Yeah, it's that that scripture. I think it's thirty three. Um, uh, no, um, but yeah, the scripture that says "speak against Mount Seir," man. Speak supposed to be speak, uh, speaking against this devil, man. But you'll have a false prophet tell y'all, oh, man. Uh, let's not. Don't bring his name up. You know what I'm saying? Don't. Don't bring his aim up. Don't talk about him. All that kind of stuff, man. Nah. You got to speak the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Uh, Yep. This 30, I said, it's uh, Ezekiel 35. And I'll start from the top. It says, moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it. So we're supposed to be prophesying against Mount Seir, which is Esau, man. Prophesying against this devil, exposing this devil, revealing his wickedness. All right. Because he's pushing forth nothing but wickedness, man. You got to tell on him, man. All right. Reveal his ass. Expose him. And that's something... That this devil hates, man. All right. Being exposed. All right. But, uh, uh, let's see. Let's get this in Matthews. We're going to read Matthew 7. And start with verse 15. And it reads, and this is Yahweh Shai warning us once again of false prophets, man. And it reads, it says, beware of false prophets which came to you in sheep clothing, but inwardly they are ravening, ravening wolves, ravening wolves. Ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thrones, of thrones and figs, of thistles? Even so, even good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil, evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewed down and cast into the fire. Wherefore, by their fruits, ye shall know them. So you should know these false prophets by their fruit, man. Man, listen to what they saying. Closely listen to what they saying, man. They And line it up with the scripture. And you're going to see that they are lying. All right. Here it is. You, you got IURC, man. If you were amongst that uh, uh, congregation. You got to worry about a brother next to you, Shalawam in you, but but he, it, behind closed door, he piping your girl, man. He trying to holler at your girl. He 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 getting down with your girl, man. But in your face, he Shalawam in you, man. Man, what the fuck, man? That's some wicked ass shit, man. That's some worldly shit, man. We supposed to be born again, new creatures. 
And if you fear the Lord, man, you ain't going to do no shit like that, man. If you fear the, truly fear the Lord, you is not about to do that to your brother, man. You would not want to offend your brother. That, man, that's a serious uh, offense, man. That the Lord frowned upon, man, and, and, and going to judge. You know, the Lord is judging every day, man. All right, and we about to see, and we see that the Lord is making a clear separation, man. He's shifting. Hey, it's a great shifting going on right now, man. And it, and showing you who's sincere and who's not, who fear the Lord and who don't. All right. And then you got the the leading the person that the head person in camp saying he like hearing freaky stuff like that. <laughs> like, man, come on, man, for real. Like hearing nasty shit or something like that, man. That shit is bugged out, man. Once again, showing you that these other camps do not have the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh man. You have to try the spirit by the spirit, man. Okay? Because destruction is coming onto these, to these, these false pastors, these false preachers, pro false prophets that is, is scattering the flock, man. Here it is. The Lord is gathering his people and you got these people trying to stop the flow and scatter them, put them back in, put them back to sleep. All right. And that's what Jeremiah 23 says, man. Woe unto those pastors. Let's just read it real quick. Jeremiah 23 and 1. It says, Woe be unto the pastor, destruction unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, said the Lord. All right. The Lord is about to destroy these people that's coming out their mouths, saying whatever the fuck. They want to say, man, whose mouths must be stopped, like it tells you in, in the scriptures, man. All right. The Lord is about to bring swift destruction unto you false prophets, man. Plain and simple, man. For playing around with his word, trying to corrupt his word. You know what I'm saying? Trying to add in your own understanding unto his word, adding and subtracting. When you add, man, you can't add and subtract to the Lord's word, man. It is perfect the way it is. And when you start adding subtraction, adding and subtracting to it, that's when you got to have to deal with the Lord, man. All right. Let's read a few uh, of these scriptures. Matthew 24. And verse 24, it says, and this is Yahweh Shah speaking and saying, and he says, uh, it says, for there shall rise false Mashiachs and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders in so much that if it were possible, if, if it was possible, they shall deceive the very elect. So it's impossible for them to deceive the elect, man. But all these and the elect is a small remnant. The Lord is dealing with a small group of his chosen people, man. The chosen of the chosen. The cream of the crop, man. That's who he's dealing with, man. Those are the ones he's going to make sure hit his word and hold fast to his word and not be tossed to and fro. With all these winds of doctrines that's out there that's, man, that's got people just bug the fuck out. All right. Uh, yeah, so once again, man, hey, don't be deceived. All right. Because it tells you the blind that lead the blind, they both shall fall into a ditch. Okay. Um, and that's that's you can read that in Matthew 15 and um 15 and 14. All right. 
which is also in red letters. All right. So the Lord, hey, he's been warning us of these times, man. Don't be bamboozled. Don't be deceived by this devil, man. He, you know. Let's read this in. Uh, in Second Peter's. All right, we're gonna read Second Peter's two. And verse 1. And once again, this is the warning. Take heed to the warning of these false prophets that's out there that's teaching you damnable heresy. That's teaching you all kinds of wayward shit, man. All right? But this is 2 Peter 2 and 1. But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you who privately shall bring in damnable heresies even denying the Lord that brought them and bring upon themselves swift destruction. <laughs> the Lord is about to hey, shut these, these mouths up. You know what I'm saying? He about to shut them down, man. All right. Okay. Uh, verse two, it says, and many shall follow their pernicious ways by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil speaking, evil spoken of. So the truth is going to be evil spoken of, man. All right. And it's going to be a lot of people that's following after the after their pernicious ways, man. OK, we can't be that the, the, that people, those people that's following blindly, you know, what I'm saying and, and just listening to to. Everything that these pastors are saying and not questioning it, but in the background, clapping their hands, like, talking about some, that's right, that's right, and, and agreeing with all kinds of shit, man. Yeah, you got what, ISUPK, you know what I'm saying, that you got sex on the Sabbath and, and all these all this nonsense, and then you got people in the background clapping their hands and that's right, that's right, or just believing Whatever the hell they say, man. All right. Uh, let's get a couple more and end because the point, the point is made. All right, it ain't no excuse. You know what I'm saying? For us to not know and be ignorant to these things, man, no more. OK, and then, you know, like me, myself coming into the truth, man, you know, I listen to all the different camps because, you know, I, I'm like, man, you know, which one, which camp got the truth. But I pray to the Lord to lead me to the truth, 100 percent truth. I pray those things, man, that I won't be deceived again because I didn't I didn't want to be deceived again. Christianity put a put a number on us, man, had us, man. Man, bugged out. And then coming into this truth, man, I'm like, wait, man. You got people saying this and that. Hey, so you have to, hey, study to show thyself approved, man. All right. And ultimately, it's of the Lord if he wants you to receive this truth or be blinded um, by these false doctrines that's out there. All right. But this is Romans. 16 and 17 and it reads it says now I beseech you brethren mark them which cause division and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned and avoid them avoid these false prophets man these other camps man that's coming together <laughs> they coming together and they all got different doctrines, but they coming together, man. The Lord is not dealing with that. The Lord is not in the midst of, of these different camps coming together with different doctrines. They're not like-minded coming together. Man, that shit is, is, is going to come to not. All right. 
The Lord ain't dealing with that shit, man. The Lord is gathering those that are of, of one mind, one doctrine, like that's like-minded. You know what I'm saying? That speak the same words, think the same words. All right? That fear of the Lord. All right, um, what this? All right, well, man, there's pages. Um, because this shit right here it says Titus 3 and 10 by this precept. So I'll just read it real quick. Uh, Titus 3 and 10 it says, A man that is an heretic after the first and second ammunition. Reject. So, hey, these other caps, they've been corrected, admonished, you know what I'm saying? Showing that they're going off. But what do they do? They turn around and say, oh, we hating. All right? Hey, but according to these scriptures, man, y'all are rejects because y'all reject the truth. Words uh, of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. So, therefore, you are a reject, man. All right? Because you didn't want to take heed to the truth. All right. <clears throat> this is Deuteronomy 18 and verse 20. It says, but the prophet which shall presume to speak a word in my name, which I have not commanded him to speak or that shall speak in the name of other gods. Even that prophet shall die. The Lord is about to start killing Start about to start killing people for a hey, first for playing with his word, deceiving the people. You know what I'm saying? All those things you got to pay for, man. You know. But yeah, uh, I mean that's pretty much the point. It's plenty of uh, uh, scriptures that talks about uh, you know watching out for these from these. Uh, and staying away from these false prophets, man. All right. But I'll end it off with this one in 2 Timothy um, 3. Because, hey, man, we have to speak the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Whether the people like it or not, man. A lot of the things, they're not, it's not smooth to the ear, so to speak, man. Hey, but it is what it is, man. Hey, you can't change the Lord's word to fit your your belief or your understanding. All right? It don't work like that. We have to subject ourselves to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, not him subjecting himself to us. All right? It is what it is. The Lord ain't going to change his doctrine for nobody. All right? But, uh... 2 Timothy 3 and 13, it says, But evil men and seducers shall. All right, so like. All right, it says, But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. And that's what we see going on, man. A lot of deception is going on, all right? But the elect is not going to be deceived by these lies and wayward doctrines. Verse 14, it says, but continue thou in the things which thou has learned. We have to continue in these things that we have learned, man. All right, you have to be fully persuaded in this truth. And once you're fully persuaded in this truth, you have to continue in that, man. And you can't allow these uh, wayward doctors to pop up and have you in doubt or have you confused and, and, you know what I'm saying, and going back into the world, you know what I'm saying, or going back into Christianity and all that type of shit, man. All right. It says, but continue thou in the things which thou has learned and has, has been assured of, knowing of whom. Thou has learned them. All right. So we know that the Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai will set up true men of the Lord 
true prophets to speak his word. All right. They out there. And it just so happened to be the apostles of Great Millstone, man. And, and that's what I fully uh, am persuaded with, you know, fully persuaded that the Lord set up those men, you know what I'm saying, to, pe to preach the good word, the, the, the true gospel, the, the true doctrine, all right? Because if it ain't them, then who else is it? Because all these other camps... That's not, they, they speaking wayward shit, man. They switching their doctrine up every, every once a week, once a month. They switching it up, man. Hey, so, hey, you do your, 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 you know, you, you know, you do your own, uh, process of elimination, man. All right. Search these things out and, and, and you seeing that these other accounts, they, 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 uh, they start lying. You know what I'm saying? Bearing false witnesses. You know what I'm saying? Against the men of the Lord. All right. Just, you know, just saying all kinds of off the wall shit, man. That is not true. You know? Hey, so once again, the, hey, the Lord is about to bring forth judgment. And ain't nobody exempt, man. You know? <clears throat> but yeah. I did have a couple of more scriptures, but um, that's pretty much the point. I I, I ended there. Lord willing, this was edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles at Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to all you Akians out there pushing this word in truth, sincerity, and all ways in charity. We almost out this hellhole. Let's keep on pushing and endure to the end. Shalom to you sincere Akiams and you sincere Akwath. We almost at the end. Endure, endure, endure. Shalom.